today we are out here moving all of this rock. This is 20 yards of stone and we need to get it from our driveway into our backyard within the next week. How hard can it be with just two shovels, two people and one wheelbarrow? Yay. If you're new here, we're John and Jess. Nice to meet you. We recently started this YouTube channel to document our life and share our travels and adventures. We made it to Times Square. Here. We also just got a puppy, who you'll see in a lot of our shorts, and her senior sister Marley, who is the love of our life. Look at you, he's so happy. He's so happy. But before we can take you on any more adventures, we have some things we have to take care of at the home front, including moving this 20 yards of stone. So let's get to it. To provide some context, here's what we're trying to do. This is our backyard. We are trying to fill in this entire hillside with brand new stone. This is what it looked like when we first bought the house. It was an absolute jungle. And here's immediately after we cleaned everything out. So when we first bought this house last September, you could not, you could not stand here. This was full, overgrown madness. Like you couldn't even see the ground. It was crazy. So we came in and trimmed up all the bushes, with the wonderful help of my dad, and got it under control, let it go for the winter. And then we just a couple weeks ago came in and put in all of this weed uh, blocker. And now it's time to fill it with stone. So it's quite the undertaking because they really just let it go past the point of no return, the previous owners. So it was our mess to fix. We went to our local nursery and ordered the 20 yards of stone. We ordered a little bit more because there's some spots in the yard that we think we can use it. But I have never seen a pile of rocks this big my entire life. I'd also never spent $1,200 on rocks before, but they say there's a first time for everything. So here we are. Makes it. I won't. The whole time. With the wheelbarrow barely hanging on, John and I powered through. I did this time lapse to show just how fast we were moving. We timed it and it took us about a minute 30 to load the wheelbarrow, bring it into the back, and dump it in the backyard. It doesn't look like we're accomplishing much, but we actually moved about 45 loads in just under an hour. really wish we had two wheelbarrows because then while well, he's unloading one I can load the other but we only have one and we can't even go buy another wheelbarrow because both of our cars are currently broken that's not my car we're borrowing that and the car we have that's not gonna fit a wheelbarrow so one it is just keep shoveling away a R M T R to the T. What is that? You smelling dog? That's me. I don't take showers and I don't brush my teeth. All I got to do is dig holes, eat, and sleep. You got to go dig those holes. Anybody? Child box holes? It's been playing in my head for the last two hours. As time went on, I became one with the rocks. I surrendered to the task at hand and just accepted that we would be shoveling rocks for the rest of our lives. Don't tell them I'm laying down. It's actually kind of comfortable. And now I need to do a maintenance check on our one and only wheelbarrow. It's getting a little wobbly. And by saying I need to do a maintenance check, I really meant to say John's gonna do a maintenance check on the wheelbarrow. Because let's be honest, there's always a stronger team player who carries the projects, and it certainly is not me. All right, so it's been about two hours. We're calling it a day. We're not trying to kill ourselves doing this, and we have a puppy in the house, so we can't leave her in her crate for that long, but I'm about to go in the pool for the first time this year. Oh, yeah. Uh, coming from Florida, it's insane to me that it is mid to end June and I'm just going in the pool. But either way, 
I am super grateful and I cannot wait to get in that water. But before I could get in the pool, we had to get the ladder in the pool. And John to the rescue yet again. Oh, it's a little chilly. Comes the puppy. Come on, Stowe. Come on, Stowe. Come on, Stowe. There she is. There she is. Hi, Stowe. Hi. Go. To recap, I'd say we got about a third of the rocks put on the back hillside. The rock pile doesn't look any smaller, but it was a solid hard day's work. Just look at how dirty John's feet were. Ugh. If you want to see exactly how long it takes us to finish the rocks, like and subscribe, follow the journey. We are about to start a lot of exciting things on this YouTube channel. There's a lot of unexpected announcements coming from us. And we just thought, why not document the whole thing on YouTube? So that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, it has to do with the house. It has to do with our life. It has to do with a lot of things. So big stuff coming up. So yeah, hit that little subscribe button, the little notification bell. We're going to try and be putting out videos every week, maybe every two weeks. We're busy, but we're going to do our best and follow along. I'm going to just go enjoy my pool. Might go to yoga later, might eat ice cream instead, I haven't decided. But have a great day everyone and we will see you next time.